Hi everyone, a long time no see. I'm really, really sorry um, that I haven't made a video in a while. Um, life has just been crazy and maybe I'll do a proper uh, life update in a little while. Um, but right now, uh, you probably won't be seeing a lot from me in the next couple of months. Um, pretty much my YouTube channel and my blog both kind of started to feel like a chore instead of something that like I really loved doing and I just wasn't feeling very inspired. Um, by makeup so I kind of just I don't know fizzled out a little bit um it's definitely not the end of this channel but you might see some different things coming up soon and um you might just not you might not see as much of me um in the coming weeks or months I don't really know yet I could change my mind tomorrow and post 10 videos, <laughs> who knows, um, but for now you might not see as much and I think last month's Ipsy didn't even make it up to my channel. I did film it but I never edited it, edited it and I never um, posted it, so I'm sorry about that. Um, it actually was a pretty good bag, but um, yeah, so today I'm doing something a little bit different, mostly because I want to get both of these unboxings up on my channel and I know that I probably won't take the time to film both of them separately. So I'm doing a Birchbox versus Ipsy. Um, and if you're unfamiliar with Birchbox versus Ipsy, um, basically they're both $10 a month beauty subscription services. So you get charged every month $10 and they'll send you um, your Birchbox or your Ipsy bag, depending on which one you subscribe to. Um, and you get four to five um, makeup and beauty sample items. Usually Ipsy is a little bit more makeup and Birchbox is a little bit more all over beauty, like hair care, skin care, things like that. Um, and Ipsy tends to be a little bit more makeup focused. It, it doesn't always um, have only makeup in it, um, but it's a little bit more makeup focused I think than Birchbox and Birchbox kind of just gives you a more wide variety of samples. So those are those two. Um, if you want to subscribe to either of these I'll have links down in the description box. Um, they are my referral links so I get points when you sign up through them. If you don't want to sign up through my referral link you don't have to but that, that'll be the link that's down below. Um, also, if my voice sounds weird, it's because I'm getting over being sick. I feel like I'm always sick, or at least I'm always talking about being sick in my videos. Um, but yeah, so that's why my voice sounds a little bit weird. So uh, let's just get into this this month, and I realized I didn't open up the outside birch box packaging yet. I usually do that ahead of time. Let's see if I can do it without a knife. Oh, I might be able to. I guess we're starting with Birchbox because that's just what's on top right now. And Birchbox did arrive first. Usually my Birchbox arrives before my uh, Ipsy bag in the month. So it's kind of nice that they don't like arrive on the same day because, I don't know, it's just nice to like kind of get them spread out a little bit through the month. They usually come around the same time, but um, sometimes it'll be uh, different weeks, different days in a week, whatever. So the birch box this month looks really cute. Um, it's adorable and I see some green tissue paper sticking out the side. I love these colors. I love the, the back of it. It's like this beautiful, I don't, I never know what this color is called, but it's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, really love the birch box for this month. The birch box card this month, it comes with a card. It'll tell you your products on one side and like their uh, full size values and then, uh, March 2015, I guess the theme is creativity, and it says, I feel most creative when I blank. Um, that's actually really cute. I love creativity. I love art. I love, you know, just doing little projects um, and making something beautiful, you know. So um, I guess I feel most creative when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm doing my scrapbooking, doing like a DIY project, I guess, you know, just making something. Um, also when I'm cooking or when I'm baking and I'm like, I don't know, I just, I love, um, anything with creating something that's just totally me. Um, oh, sorry, my phone rang. Um, yeah, so I really love this theme. I just, I love this and I'll probably keep this card because I think it's super cute. Um, so let's get into the box. I told myself that I wasn't gonna make this video long, but here I am just like chatting so much, I'm sorry. So the first thing I see is this guy and it is Amika Bombshell Blowout Spray. Um, protect, vol uh, protect, texturize, volumize, and repair for all hair types. Um, uh, use before blow drying to get extra texture and lift while providing a weightless, 
layer of heat protection, safer color treated hair, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's cute. I don't blow dry my hair a lot, and I've talked about that in other videos. I just don't do it. I'm kind of lazy that way, um, and I, I never have the time. But um, I'll give it a try. I think it's cute. It's a definitely a good size sample, and I'm excited to have this. So, yay. Um, let's see. Lumiere. Oh, God, I can't pronounce this. I just can't do it. Something. It's number four. I think number four is the brand. Um, and it is a clarifying shampoo. Yeah, that's cute. I'll try it. It's a little baby sample, and I have a lot of hair. I know you can't tell because it's up right now, but I have a lot of hair. Not that it's, like, super thick or anything, but I have really long hair. So I don't know how far this little bottle is going to get me. I don't think I could tell whether I love this or not. Uh... By using it just like however many times I get out of that so that's that but I guess if you have shorter hair these samples probably go like way further than if you have longer hair um, the next thing I'm seeing in here is the Strivectin uh, instant retexturizing scrub I yeah I never know with these like skincare brands and stuff they always have like such like long fancy I don't even know how to pronounce names and I don't know what's a name on here and what's like the product but this is the instant retexturizing scrub um okay day one so it's just so it says this is a one and a half week supply huh interesting okay so use two to three times per week apply a small amount to wet hands gently massage on face and neck where it's well avoided uh Avoid eye area. Okay, um, that's cool. My skin has been so dry. I feel like I always also complain about dry skin, but my skin has been dry since I've been sick. Um, it was fine before that, and then I got sick, and now my skin is kind of just dry and gross. So I definitely need a scrub, and I haven't done one yet. So I will definitely try this. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really excited to try this out. Okay, and the last thing in this little guy, please tell me what these are called if you know because I never know. This little like pouch thing. <laughs> anyway, um, in here we have two things. Ooh, they look like makeup things which I'm really excited about. So the first thing is this uh, Joer, J-O-U-E-R. Oh no, I have low battery. I'm sorry. Um, I'll try to speed this up. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this brand. I've gotten we've gotten like a lip treatment or a lip tint or like a lip plumper or something like this uh, for by this brand. I think it was Ipsy. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not like totally 100% sure that it was Ipsy. But this is a luminizing moisture tint sunscreen. It's a tiny little sample, and it says it's in pearl. Uh, let me just squeeze a little bit out of this, of this on my hand. Um, I like, like, kind of the flat-ish packaging of it. I don't know, I think that's cute. Um, so that's what that looks like just on my hand and just blending it out. It does give a little bit, uh, coverage and it does match my skin tone, which is nice. I don't know if you can see this. Um, it's pretty. It does have kind of, like, a luminous um, finish to it now that I'm blending it out more a little bit darker than my skin but it might work on my face because my hands are always more pale than my face but um, it's really nice I actually am definitely excited to try that um, I wish that we got a bigger sample though because I feel like this little guy isn't gonna go a long way for my whole face so that's kind of annoying but all right the last thing is from cargo and I we got a cargo eyeshadow in lip monthly last month I don't think I posted that it was my last month and it was just so horrible and I hated it and I hate lip monthly I'll do a whole separate review video on lip monthly but um, I've always wanted to try the cargo stuff mostly because and I'm not afraid to admit this because these little tins are so cute that they're like products come in I just think the packaging is so adorable and I've also heard really good things um, how might one open this? Okay, so this is a Cargo Water Resistant Blush in Los Cabos, and oh my god, that's gorgeous. I can't wait to wear this. This totally screams summer to me. Oh my god, it's so creamy and pigmented, and just like, it feels so amazing. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Okay, I'm kind of freaking out. I'm sorry. 
So that's what that looks like. It's so pretty. Oh my god, I just love it. Um, and we'll see how it blends. It's blending nicely. I did have a little bit of um, eyeshadow primer on my hand. Uh, so it's sticking to that a little bit. But other than that, it like, looks like it's so pretty when it's blended out. Okay. That's gorgeous. This is by far my favorite product in uh, this bird box. Okay, so the flashing battery signal on my camera was driving me insane. So I went to go get my spare battery in hopes that it was charged, and it is. Yay. So we don't have to rush through this as much now, even though I'm sure this is going to be a really long video as is. Um, okay, so uh, Ipsy. I was opening up my Ipsy. All right. So let's see. Okay, interesting. I always look at the bag and I'm like, hmm, I don't know. So, Floral Fantasy is this much this month's theme for Ipsy. I don't know. I'm not a floral person, so I hope there's nothing floral like scented in here because that drives me crazy. So, yeah. So, fla uh okay, cool. So Floral Fantasy is this month's theme, and I just realized I forgot to run down the prices of my Birchbox items, but I will do that um, at the end. Hopefully I'll remember. So this is the bag. It's not horrible. I like the colors, but um, it's, I don't know, it doesn't scream March to me. I always like want my Ipsy bags to be like appropriate for the month that they send them. I don't know why. It doesn't matter in the end because I'm just going to put it in the pile with all my other Ipsy bags and then just like pull them out as I need to use them. But um, yeah, so that's this month's bag. Um, I do really like the colors, but I just don't, it just doesn't scream March to me, which is weird. I sh shouldn't even care. So let's get into this. Oh my god, the first thing I'm seeing on top is a NYX Butter lipstick. I love these. I have three of them three or four of them uh this one is in the shade pops i don't have this shade but i've heard fabulous things about it so i'm so excited to try it let me swatch this and i just realized i have that like tinted moisturizer on my hand so i don't know where i can swatch this but okay oh my god that's gorgeous this i love <laughs> this is gorgeous it kind of almost reminds me of like a marsala color um like the color of the year and i totally just realized i filmed a um marsala makeup pics video a couple of months ago and um i never posted it so i should post that but um yeah gorgeous gorgeous i love this i almost want to go like change my lipstick and put this on because it's absolutely gorgeous in fact, I'm going to do that. So that's what that looks like. I am so excited. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Like, I absolutely love it. Um, I was wearing uh, another lip color that kind of stained a little bit, so you can see a tiny bit of my other color, which was, by the way, this is one of these Revlon Ultra HD lipsticks. I don't really like these. I just was wearing it. Uh, this is in Orchid, so that's what I was wearing before, and now I'm wearing the NYX Butter Lipstick in Pops. I love this. I think it's gorgeous. I think it matches my makeup much better than this did. I didn't know what lipstick to put on, so I just grabbed one of these because I never use them because I don't really like them that much. Um, but um, yeah, I love this. I don't think I've ever stopped the video to go like put on something that I've um, received in uh, a subscription box before. So you know I love these. They're not super expensive. They don't make up for the value of the bag, but I love this and I'm so glad to have it. And this is actually a shade that I've been interested in buying. So very excited about, about that. That's a great start to the bag. So this is the Vintage by Jessica uh, Liebeskind? I don't know. I don't know. This is the Illuminating Face Highlighter in Crystal Pink. Um, so yeah, it definitely looks like more of a blush shade to me than like a highlighter shade. Um, so let me just open this up and swatch it. It looks gorgeous. Oh my god. I kind of wish I was wearing this shade today. Well, we'll see how pigmented it is and how nice it is. But oh my god, I can't even get this little thing open. Okay, there we go. So oh my god, gorgeous. That's what that looks like. And let me just swatch it. Oh wow. Oh, it is more of a highlighter now that I'm swatching it. Wow. Okay. That's kind of cool. That's it. It's right. Where is it? It's right there. Can you see that? I don't know how well you can see the highlightiness of it. Um, but in the pan, I totally thought that was going to be a blush, but swatched, it's definitely a highlighter. That's so weird. 
but it looks so gorgeous I really love it I really hope you can see it I don't I don't know if you can can you see the the shininess of it I don't know it's gorgeous I really love this I'm like shocked how much I love this um, so yay excited about that um, next thing in here is by Pure Lease. I think that's how you say it. Um, this is the Gentle Soy Milk Cleanser and Makeup Remover, Pure Delicate, that's what it says. Um, I'm not a huge, like, um, like milk cleanser person. Um, I think that's what they're called. They're, I don't know what they're called, but I'm, I, they don't do a lot for me, in my opinion. I've tried a couple of them before, and they're just not strong enough for me. Um, if you have sensitive skin, though, I mean, I'm sure that they work wonderfully, but they're just not for me. This is a great size, though, so that's really good, um, and I will definitely give it a try, um, but yeah, um, not super excited, but not a total bust either. We'll give it a try. Uh, this is the Gilchrist and Soames uh, body lotion. Did we get a, a body wash in Birchbox last month by them? I think we did. In fact, it might still be hanging out around here. I don't see it. I don't know. Maybe not. I'm just like looking around. No, I don't think it's here. But uh, that brand sounds super familiar. Great sample size. Uh, let's open this up. Okay, and there is a little air pocket in there, but it's filled to the brim. So let's see what this feels like. I can't really smell anything because I'm still sick, so I don't even know why I tried. Um, it feels really, really nice. Um, it seems to be sinking into the skin pretty quickly, which is great because I can't stand uh, body lotions that just like hang around. Yeah, it's like totally has sunken in by now and it feels really nice. It doesn't feel like super, super hydrating, um, but um, it's definitely hydrating and I like that it sinks in quickly. So I'm actually excited about this. Um, I'll definitely give it a try. Great sample size again. So uh, yeah, happy to have that. And then the last product in here is a little baby product. Yay, I've been wanting to try this so badly. I thought about buying it, but I didn't want to pay full price for it. Sorry if my phone keeps ringing. Um, okay, so this is the Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer. And does this have a shade? Uh, I don't see a shade on it. Hmm. It must come in more than one shade, but that's what that looks like. I hope this matches me because it looks... I don't know. I don't think it'll match me. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, that's way too dark for me. No, that's what I was afraid of. So that's it right there. That's super disappointing. Oh my god, Ipsy. And you, you tell them your skin tone when you sign up. So I'm kind of upset that this is like way too dark for me. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks to have amazing, amazing coverage though. And I wish that, um, I wish that I got it in my shade. That's so disappointing. So Ipsy, in summary, we got the body lotion. I like that. The concealer, wish it was in my shade. The cleanser, I'm iffy on that one. Uh, this highlighter, I absolutely love this. And the NYX lipstick, love, love, love this. And I do want to just mention with Ipsy, I almost feel like it's a better value sometimes because you do get the bags if you like. The, I don't subscribe to Ipsy for the bags. I don't really need the bags that much. But um, you do get this kind of like bonus thing for the same amount of money. So I do like Ipsy better in that uh, sense. I think this month uh, that Ipsy definitely won for me. I think it usually does. Ipsy's just amazing. I love it so much. Um, so yeah, Ipsy is definitely the winner here um, versus Birchbox. So the Bombshell Blowout Spray from the Birchbox, the full size was $24. Uh, Cargo, the full size is $26. The Joair, however you pronounce it, the Luminizing Moisture Tint, the full size is $40. I would never pay $40 for that. Uh, the number four clarifying shampoo, full size $32 to $72. I'm not paying even $32 for a shampoo. That's ridiculous. 
uh, the Strivectin Instant Re Retexturizing Scrub, full size $29. Thank you so much for watching. This video is super long. I know, I'm sorry. I tried to do it quickly, but it didn't work. So um, if you want to subscribe to Ipsy or Birchbox, just check the description box. I'll have links down there um, where you can subscribe. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll be back soon. Don't know when my next video is going to be, um, but yeah, hopefully it's soon. So um, subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more videos from me. All right, I'll see you guys next time.